got to learn to watch that. Well, how's it going, folks? Uh, it's been a while again, I know, but I haven't really had anything much going on. Today I do, I've got a lot going on. I'm trying to let this thing warm up real quick. I got to do major surgery on the truck today. I've got all new catalytic converters to go on it. Of course, I'm going to take the old ones back into the foundry and get my pennies for that. Because I say pennies because nothing at the foundry right now is bringing in big money. Except maybe brass or copper. And I don't have either of those, so kind of irrelevant. Um, but. I've got the replacement catalytic converters. I'll show them being put on. I've got spark plug wires to put on this thing. Um, brake, front brakes. And I believe that's it. Oh, and I may, yeah, I think I've got all my stuff to do my oil change with too. I gotta check and make sure before I start that be kind of dumb to get halfway through it and oh I don't have this or that uh, but yeah it's gonna be a full evening yeah. holy cow the grass is already taken off good god and I'm not even close to being prepared to cut the grass. <sighs> Always something. Anyway, before I forget or get sidetracked by it, uh, about it, <sighs> something kind of interesting occurred when I, right after I posted my last video. I finally made it past a thousand subscribers again I say again because before I got my daddy tech daddy tech channel hosed I lost all my AdSense and everything I had over a thousand subscribers there too I quit uploading to it when I got 1100 because YouTube wasn't doing anything for me except not, not, not uh, letting me monetize anything. Anyway, I'm trying to keep all the uh, recording down to a limit so you're not, or down to when I'm actually working on things so you're not just bored by seeing me re uh, drive and talk again. I've got the catalytic converter on the roof because it's not just the catalytic converters, this is a whole assembly. It's the downpipe from the driver's side, passenger side, goes into the um, into the catalytic converter with the uh, O2 sensor on each side, and then there's a plate that both of them hook to. I don't know when that turned. But it comes into the O2 sensor, then into the catalytic converter, and they both hook into a plate. Uh, my neighbor's nice enough that he's letting me use his garage. So, I'll be able to film in there and show everything I'm doing. So here goes. she's all up in the air 
Got to unhook it right there. And right there. Well, I don't think you can see up in there, but it's right there just at the top of the frame. This is one catalytic converter, a little one and a half inch pipe. I've got to get some bigger exhaust on here. <clears throat> and here's the other catalytic converter. And this is the flange that I was saying they both hook into. <clears throat> Getting that off of there is gonna be the biggest challenge. <clears throat> These aren't gonna be any problem at all. I've had them off before replacing the donut gaskets. <clears throat> But, yeah, this is going to be fun. <clears throat> so, let me get my stuff together and we'll get at it. That's it. All right. I almost got stuck in the taking all this stuff off without saying or not firing the camera once, sorry. But, taking the uh, O2 sensors out, this one comes off pretty easy for the right? Uh, You know, I've sworn off car work while we're really making a push to get our house done. But uh, my next door neighbor, Daddy Tech Ant, uh, as y'all know him, 
Uh, he's uh, he's got kind of an emergency. He's got to get his got to get his truck inspected, and uh, uh, it's got the dreaded catalyst efficiency code. So what we're going to do is we are going to change out the catalytic converters. And what this is going to detail and resolve is yeah, I didn't show you guys this. Hey. <laughs> you do your yeah. thing, I'll do mine. I should add, I should add Daddy Tex. There we go. Doing his own video with your, like, BFG 9000 camera. Not BFG 9000, it's 4K. Yeah, okay, that's what my camera wants to be when it grows up. Yeah. You go. It's like the movie Six Days, Seven Nights, Where's It's Mommy? There it is. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so what we have here is... The way that Tahoe does this, what did you say this was, a 99? Yep. They got this kind of funky setup here, but it's cool though because it's easy to make it dual exhaust because you can do it out all the way back. You just have to do it on one side because of the gas tank. And, uh, and he's got his little, he's got a little flow master dual inlet and outlet. I and, what uh, that was. The, uh, went out to one big exit one. Looks like somebody did some gorilla welding there, but uh -huh. hey, it held up. <laughs> Been on there for five years now. Five years, yeah. Don't have to look pretty. Nobody's gonna be looking at it. But anyhow, so there it is, and we've got to we've got to take this thing out. And naturally, in typical GM fashion, those nuts. Some of them are some of them are good coming off. But some of them are going to fight us. So uh, this will kind of actually go along with that video I did with my uh, my daughter's car, where you know we had that uh, that big giant half inch bolt froze in that rubber bushing, and uh, oh yeah, that uh, you know we'll show some another little little tricks to help get the uh, help get the these nuts off without busting those studs in that manifold. Because if you're not careful, it will happen, and it will ruin your weekend. Trust me. So we're gonna uh, gonna get in on some of this stuff here, and uh, kind of hard to see some of that stuff. But I'll have Jim hold the camera while I'm doing all the detail work. But uh, we've got one that's fighting us over here on this side, that one, the bottom one right there. So we're gonna to have to get some fire to that one. And <laughs> heat it up a little bit, make it swell and come off there. You don't want to bust that stuff. I'm telling you. But uh, anyway, so we'll try. I mean we'll try to break a bar on it. But usually if an impact won't knock it loose, you want to be real gentle because that right. said that stud will twist right off the edge of the, the manifold. It will be flush with the manifold requiring you to drill it out. <laughs> yeah, so, that's what I like to run this too. So. Well, that's what I'm counting on too. Your luck, Jim. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, your luck in my garage usually ends up with a vehicle sitting in it for three months. Let's <laughs> <laughs> say you just push it on out the back <laughs> there. Oh, that's it. And my poor mm -hmm. wife, who's my poor wife, who's a neat freak, is like, you know. I think I'm gonna get the car out of here. I don't know. But anyway, all right, so. All right, so I'm gonna start the camera off here, and we're gonna uh, actually I'm gonna hand the camera over to you again, and I'll get the breaker bar in the 15 millimeter and see how we can if we can get any of these loose. And uh, do 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 do. do. Okay, see, I usually start trying to tighten it first before I start backing it off to where it, at least it'll move. You don't need to like that. You know, I'm kind of. I mean, you don't have to turn it just. Get the buds a little bit right loose. Right. Do you say you soaked them down with some PB blaster? Yep. Okay. Alright. And I don't know what goes on with yours, but it seems like your microphones keep getting blocked off somehow when they're recording. Oh well, that's the wind. It's the wind, yeah. The wind is what messes mine up. Yours has the cutoff. Yeah, I, I'm trying to figure a way to cut the automatic gain control off. 
But uh, I see it's loose on the flange. You hear that? But it's not loose on the stove. Yeah. See, it feels like it feels like it wants to break. So I'm um, just real hesitant. I'd rather throw a little heat to it. And yeah, but what I was having problems with is you're going to want to heating up my brake line too. Yeah. Boiling the fluid in that. Well, well, we'll throw a little something there in the way just to, to block it. But, uh, and we're going to probably going to need a wiggler for that one. Maybe. I'll see you stop hot riding my damn truck. Man, I ain't got jack shit to do with these nice <laughs> on here. Quit playing in your water. God. You blame her for everything, don't you? Yep. She's the one that gets in them and just drives them. Alright. Remember? Where's my, yeah. <laughs> I didn't say she was perfect. Yeah. Well, none of us are, but dang. Alright, uh, what do I do with my 15 millimeter wheeler? Uh, there was one over there on that bench. I have to clear that. Yeah, I think that's. I really need to clean my shop up today. Well, you usually keep it clean. That's why I'm surprised to see it like this. Uh, I've been so busy. Held her into a. Yeah. Gaskets. Oh yeah. They go shit put four sets of donut gaskets in Susan's Suburban and it still sounded like the damn exhaust was leaking. time you need them is what makes it all worthwhile. Oh yeah. Alright, now what I need you to do, I need you to take that uh, uh, that antifreeze jug, it's got water in it, soak that rag down real good. Trick 
here is you want to heat the nut, not the stud. You may surprise how heavy it is. Uh, it looks kind of heavy. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Are we on? Yep. All right. So what we're going to do here is we're going to. Uh, uh, we've already got one or two of them off here, and the object is is we're going to get the nut kind of hot without getting the stud hot, so that the nut will expand on the stud, and then. Uh, In theory, in theory, with uh, the PV blaster he's been soaking them with, will allow that nut to expand and come loose. Right. And uh, Jim, you mentioned earlier, as we were heating it, you heard that tink, 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 yep. tink, tink sound. I knew that was the metal expanding. I don't know if you can get up in on this touch because you really don't want to heat the stud. So you keep your heat on the flange and then walk over to the nut and get that nut glowing a little bit. You don't have to get it all the way around. Maybe you do in some of the most severe cases, but the Tennessee rust, just a little bit of heat will do it. And we're out of here. Turns so much easier like that. <laughs> I like lack of pain. <laughs> Mega <Mager> squeal. <laughs> That's the last of them. Yeah, but I'll tell you what. Nothing is more heartbreaking than tink. Yeah. Is that stud Snap. <laughs> Of course, remember, boys and girls, this nut is extremely hot. hot. <laughs> so we have a rag, a shop rag, that we soak with water. That allows us to... Mm. Ooh, I smell. <laughs> Fried metal. Yep. That, my friends, is how you obtain. <sighs> all right, so that's all of those. Yep. Now you're gonna have to get that one last O2 sensor out, and yeah, I'm gonna finish up on. Uh, I'm gonna finish up on these three back here. All right, there's the last one we gotta get out. All right, I'll put you back on the bench over here. I 
That's all right. We begin to forget where things are over time here. I'm going to use your breaker bar on this one because oh. I need to get in a little closer to my ratchet Down to the last bar of battery on this one. Might have to finish up with the old 1080p. Old tried and true little one here. It's still got about half the battery on it and still got the small battery that came on it. But I'm not sure which one I want to put it on.
That one gets a little moody about those sort of things. Like old faithful's got it. I'll tell you what, I spent two hundred and nineteen dollars on that uh the one that's on the bench now, the ten eighty P camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't pay much for that. Well, I, I got either one that thing. I've had it three about three and a half years now. Hmm. Still just cracking along. Yep. Yeah. Drop, kick, set on, step down by the dogs. Oh, poor bear. That dog is. Yeah. 
right there. I can let it out like that, but yeah. yeah, it's far enough in that pipe. I ain't worried about welding it. If it leaks, it leaks. Yeah. Well, I'm mean, trying to see what it sounds like. But... Uh. <laughs> No, it's okay. You know, you let it down. Go ahead. If anything, go ahead and put it on the rest of the way. Yeah. 
just overcharged because I never really used it like it should have been used. I needed a deep cycle when I needed it. Where's your key? Alright, I'll beat all the stuff out of it and we'll put it back on. Yeah. Not looking yeah. that bad either. Well, it just degraded. It wasn't... It, uh, yeah, your mixture control was good, which is good. You know, the mixture control gets out of whack and it gets running too rich. It's when it burns up that substrate. But, yeah. Okay. It was good. It can't go out. 